All right, what's going on, everybody? We got us a neat little problem here. It says a man uses three elephants to pull a very large log out of the jungle. The pop elephant pulls with 800 pounds of force, the mama elephant with 500 pounds of force, and the baby with 200 pounds of force. The angle between the forces are 30 and 20 degrees. What is the magnitude of all three forces? Now, I kind of wrote the problem a little bit different. The, uh, the problem actually says that the angle between the uh, forces is shown in the picture. But, of course, I can't use this picture in the video. So, the 30 degrees, the 30 degrees, that's the angle between the papa and mama elephant. And the 20 degrees is between the mama and baby elephant. All right, the the picture shows that. All right, so let's let's work this. All right, so of course the first thing we need to do here is draw a picture. All right, so what we want to do is let's draw the mama elephant is in between the papa elephant and the baby elephant. That's what the picture shows. All right, so what. If we look at, we can look at this as we've got an XY coordinate system here. And we're going to draw the mama elephant. She's in the middle. That's a 500 pound force. And then we'll draw the papa elephant. His is an 800 pound force. So this is 800. This is. 500 and then the baby elephant is 200 and this angle here is 30 degrees and this angle is 20 degrees and we want to know the force the resultant of all three forces all right so and I know that right there kind of looks like a degree but that's a zero there All right, now what we need to do is we need to look at the 800 pound force and we need the X and Y component. So this is the papa elephant, this is the mama elephant, and this is the baby elephant. All right, so we're going to find, we're going to find the X, Y component for this 800 pound force so it's it's kind of like you're gonna let, let's just kind of take this off to the side all right so so let's take let's take this part here off to the side just the papa elephant vector so we've got I'm gonna draw this and here is the vector for the papa elephant that's 800 and we know this is 30 and we want to find the horizontal and vertical component so we'll call this piece of x we'll call this piece of y all right so if you remember You've already done this in an earlier section on vectors, finding the horizontal and vertical component. So remember, we've got piece of x is equal to 800 times the cosine of 30 degrees. All right, we're finding this one right here. All right, all right. So so one way you can look at it is look at it as being like a a right a right triangle okay so remember cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and that's what you would have here and then we solve for the p of x and that would be 800 cosine or you know you can just remember remember the formula so we got 800 times the cosine of 30 that is P 
PX is equal to 692.82. And then we've got PY. That's the vertical component. That's going to be 800 times the sine of 30. And so we get PY is equal to 400. All right, so this is 692.82, and this is 400. All right. So, you know, if you, if you kind of sketch this in over here, you're looking at right here, you're looking at 400. And here, we'll, we'll draw it right here. That's going to be uh, 692.82. It's kind of hard to draw this in and make it look good, but okay. but that's that's what we're getting at. Okay, that, that's why I brought this over to the side here. All right, now we've got to do the same thing, but for the baby elephant. So here. If we draw it, there's the baby elephant. And so we're looking for the horizontal and vertical component. All right. And we know this is 20 degrees. So we'll call this BX. That's for the horizontal component. I'm just using the P, the M, and the B, and I'm just putting the subscript X for horizontal component, subscript Y for vertical component. So that's going to be what? 200 times the cosine of 20, of 20 degrees. So BX is 200 times the cosine of 20. That is 187.5. 9, 4, and then I have BY is equal to 200 times the sine of 20. So 200 times sine of 20, that is BY is equal to 68.4. All right, and so if we draw this in, that's going to be the 68.4 and for the horizontal that's going to be 187 187.94 all right now what do we do well now we've got to we've got to add the two horizontal components and we've got to add the vertical components so we have the 400 plus negative 68.4 that's going in a negative direction and so that's going to give us 400 minus 68.4 that is 331.6 and then we've got uh, the horizontal components. We add those together. So that's going to be the 500 plus 692.82 plus 187.94. So 500 plus 692.82 plus the 187.94. And that's going to give me 1380.76. So, so remember, I added the vertical components together. One's going in the positive direction. One's going in the negative direction. And then when you add the horizontal components, you've got to add all three of them. The, the mama elephant, the papa, and the baby. So I add all three of those. Now, what that does is that gives me another uh, another drawing that I can do. So if I draw that out, let's look at that. 
So my vertical, when I added those up, I got a positive 331.6 and when I added the horizontal together that gave me let's see this is 331.6 and this is 1380.76 all right and so now what we're going to do is we're going to find the resultant of this and so remember you can use that parallelogram method to to find your vector so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw that resultant in a different color so here's your resultant all right and so so we'll just call this let's just call that vector V so the magnitude of V now remember, this is 331.6. That's just a right triangle Pythagorean theorem. So we get that is equal to 1380.76 squared plus 331.6 squared. And that is going to give us, let's see, 1380.76 squared plus 331.6 squared and then we're going to take the square root of that and that is 1420 pounds that's the that's the magnitude of the resultant okay and and that's what they want you to find now look we can even take this a step further we can find the direction how about we do that let's let's just find the direction so for the direction well look at there you got a right triangle here that's opposite over adjacent so we've got tangent theta is equal to 331.6 over 1380.76 and so that tells us that theta is equal to the inverse tangent of this and so we get theta is equal to so second inverse 10 is 331.6 divided by 1380.76 and so that is 13.5 degrees okay that's the direction angle. They didn't ask us to find it, but we did. It's 13.5 degrees. So if you looked at this and you drew the resultant in here, that resultant would be, let's see, what was the length? 1,420. So what that resultant would look like in here is it would be, well, let's see. Let's draw it in a different color so we can see it better maybe put it in red so it would be it would be right in here somewhere that's what the resultant would be 1420 and this angle here would be the was it 13 yeah 13.5 degrees and that's what it would look like okay so, you know, a little bit you had to do there, but it's not that bad. You just had to, you had to break it up and get it into two vectors here, you know, two vectors right here, and then find the resultant of those two. All right, so I hope this made sense. hope it helped you out. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you later.